any digital artists out there, I'm going to do a really quick review of the screen covers I've been using for drawing on my iPad Pro. Why is that important? Uh, the first tip I always give to people starting out on an iPad Pro is to buy themselves a non-glare, matte finish, same thing, um, uh, screen protector. Why? Because it creates more of a resistance on the pen tip and feels more like drawing on paper or smooth Bristol board. Um, you'll notice a, a instant difference. So I've been drawing on the iPad Pro now for two years or so and I've gone through a lot of different covers. The one that I'm using currently is the Tech Armor. I get it on Amazon.com for $9.99 for a two-pack. But as I'm a digital drawing nerd, anytime I hear that there's a superior product and I want to try it out. So Paperlike, I found it. Uh, they have a really nice pitch video somewhere online and it sounded like, wow, this thing's going to be amazing. I got to try this out. This is probably a little bit more honest review since they're not sending it to me for free to review like they've done different artists. Um, I actually went through the whole experience of purchasing it. So uh, let's take a look. First up, the price, 35 bucks for two screen protectors is a little bit eh, but their pitch was so good. This must be a superior product. I can't wait to draw on it. Second downside is that they are in the EU. So if you are in the US or Canada, you're gonna have to be a little bit patient to wait for it, but it's, you know, Patience is a virtue, that's what they say. When it finally did arrive in a nondescript cardboard packaging, I was a little taken aback. I didn't know what to think. I kind of expected a little bit more branding or design of the materials just because their website and their pitch video was so well, well thought out. My immediate thought was maybe this was repackaged somehow. Um, it just felt that way. It's forgivable, sorry, I'm a packaging nerd. I like good graphic design and it was just a little, that just took me a little bit back. What's not really forgivable is when I took a look at the first cover, it had a noticeable crease or defect in it, almost like a bend. So yeah, it's disappointing that one of the two covers that I just spent 35 bucks on and waited all that time came damaged. Um, to their credit, I reached out to them and they did replace the item. It took a few more weeks to get to me due to the holidays and once again, patience is a virtue, that's what they say. Okay, stuff happens. Again, I want to draw on this thing. I want to draw on this. And I want to make sure that I'm installing it correctly. So, I visit the URL on their paper and no dice. The link does not work. I double checked it and so I thought, well, I'll go to their website. Surely they'll have the install video quick, quickly accessible. No, there is no install video to be found. However, I have put on plenty of these screen protectors over time, so I figure no problem, I won't have an issue. Upon opening the screen cleaning pads, I mean, Jesus, these are small. Uh, I don't have large fingers, but it was almost comical. Uh, like, did they make a mistake? Is this for cleaning a tiny lens or something? So, um, yeah, it was just weird. It's just a weird size. And it, it, again, it feels cheap. It feels like they, they found the cheapest little things that they could put in there, and it was just a little disappointing to uh, to do. They also don't provide a squeegee, so I use the plastic card cover to work out the air bubbles. Um, pretty common thing. Uh, many of those bubbles will go away within a day or so. That's still just being super picky because I can't wait to draw on this thing, this superior drawing uh, screen. So, okay, so finally, it's time to draw on this thing, this superior drawing pad. Let's do this. I was super excited. I immediately noticed that there's quite a bit more resistance than my previous cover. So much so that I was starting to worry that maybe it would rub down the rubber on the tip of the Apple Pencil. I don't really know that for sure, but only time will tell. It'll take a lot more drawing to uh, figure that part out. Um, I tried to give this a fair shot. I sketched on it for quite a bit, and I actually left the cover on for more than a week now, drawing, uh, drawing my normal uh, comics on it. Um, I got used to the resistance. It's fine. It's an okay cover, um, but I was still missing my old screen cover. I actually went back to see if I had another of my old screen cover to put on, and I did. And when I did, I noticed that the packaging of the Tech Armor was so much better. Um, you know, they give you the uh, larger cleaning pad. Uh, they have a legit squeegee that has their name branded on it. So uh, I got that for $9.99 for two of those of which I actually used to take out uh, some of the air bubbles on the paper-like surface. So in closing, my thoughts are these. The paper-like is fine. It's an okay drawing screen or screen protector, 
but it's nothing special. It's not worth the $35 price tag in the US. It's probably not even worth the 29 euros over there. Honestly, you're gonna get the same type of experience from the tech armor at a much afford more affordable rate. Don't believe me? Plunk down the money and try it for yourself. If you have a suggestion for screen covers or any other tools, put them in the comments. Subscribe for more videos like this one, and we will see you soon. Back to the drawing board.